Hello students, today we study the very important and interesting topic that is, that is mathematical logic in that the different terminologies which are important to solve the example depending on the mathematical logics. Then what is mean by statement? The statement means a mathematical acceptable statement is a sentence which is either true or false but not both simultaneously means here we have to find the truth value of any statement if this statement is true then its truth value is t or if this statement is false then its truth value is f but that is a statement means the mathematical acceptable such a type of a sentence which has at a time only one value means either it is true or it is false but not simultaneously means its value does not vary according to the conditions means either it is true then it remain true forever or if it is false then it remain false forever the next is next term is open sentence then a sentence whose truth value can vary according to some conditions means here this open sentence is a sentence such type of a sentence whose truth value is vary according to this conditions means according to the different perceptions of a so different candidate its truth value can vary that is for example the statistics is an easy subject means this its truth value if it is a true then we write its truth value as a t if it is a false then we write its truth value as a f but here the statistic is an easy subject means for some type of a people it may be easy and for some type of a people it may be no hard subject okay that is according to this means according to the condition for some type of people it is a true but for some type of people it is a false then such a type of a sentence is known as a open sentence the next is a simple st st statement that is a simple statement means it cannot broke into two or more statements means it consists of a only one means there does not exist two or more statement inside a one statement means for example 5 is a natural number means it is a simple statement that is it consists of only one statement means 5 is a natural number then compound statement the compound statement means which consists of two or more statements means it include more than one or one or more statements for example if it is a hot then we use a pan means it consists of two statement means if it is a hot then we use a pan okay such type of a statement is known as a compound statement the next is that is a for some type of a sentence we have to use for all there exist or for some there is at least appearance in mathematical statement okay that is if there exist at least one of these in mathematical statement then it is known as continuous okay then next is logical connectives means for different type of a statement which connect by using some conjunctions and according to these conjunctions there are different types of a conjunctions means sometimes we use a statement when we use a statement and if, if it is consist of two statements that is a compound statement and if there exist that is or and negation if and when leave imply such type of a conditions exist then we use different logical connectives in that first is conjunction or and okay then and if there exist a and then we denote this by symbolically use this notation for and connection okay means p and q means p is a one statement and q is another statement okay means it consists of two statements p is a one statement and q is a second statement then this p and q we read it as p and q is true only when both p and q are true that is this consists of a same thing as when we take intersection of two sets means it include the object when that is it include the that object for the intersection which is present in a set as well as in b set then this object is present in their intersection something the result follow here p and q means p and q is true when both 
P and Q are true. Means if P is a true statement as well as Q is a true statement, then this P and Q is true. Okay. And if you write, want to write its truth table, that is P Q P T T F F, then Q T F T F. Okay. Then if you want to write this truth table by using this and, then P and Q means both are true. Then its truth value of this statement P and Q is T. But when it is true, that is P and Q is true when both are true. But here for the second one is T and second is F means one is true, one is false. Then its and is F. Then same thing F T it is also false. F F is also false. That is when it is true when both are true. Then we use the uh, that is this is a truth table for this conjunction. And then, if you want to write some statement in symbolical form, that is, we have provided the statement which include and, and then we use uh, that is, we write the statement in symbolical form. For example, the Priya is a girl, and there is and statement, and Samir is a boy. Is a then here the and statement that is and conjunction is present then priya is a girl that is we call this as a p statement or p sentence and this samir is a boy we call this as q statement okay that is it consists of two statement means a compound statement okay and here the conjunction that is and is present then in order to write in symbolical form we use p and q okay we use this conjunction that is p and q to write in symbolical form we write p and q then same thing as a conjunction next is disjection means or is present that is here and present then we write in symbolical form in this way but if it consists of two statement and or is present there then we write in symbolical form as P or Q that is symbol for this disjection is this one P or Q and this P or Q is false only when both P and Q are both false means here both are true when both is true but here this both statement is false when both are false it means there or is false when both statements are false okay then here something as conjunction dejection statement uh, that is truth table for this dejection is if p q then p or q means t t when this is false when both are false at least one is true then it is also true okay that is here we have take union that is just something as when we take union of two set that is for the union the element of this is present as well as this is present something as this that is p or q means both are true then it is also true if anyone is true then it is also true that is here true then true then it is also true but when both are false then and then its truth value is false then here if you want to write in symbolical form that is if i provided the statement and if you want to write in symbolical form for example 2 is a rational number and uh, or sorry here or is present or root 2 is an irrational number is an irrational number then this 2 is a rational number is a statement p and root 2 is a irrational number is a statement q and we write in symbolical form as p or implication this implication means in this that is two statement here consists of also two statement and there include if then condition then p implies q is false means here this this statement is false only when p is true and q is false means p implies q that is the truth value of this p implies q is depend on this q means it is a false only when this q is a false statement otherwise it is a true for all other cases okay means here p q we write this truth table p q and then p implies q when both are true then it is true where p implies q means it is a false then it is a false p implies q if it is a true that is q is a true then it is true means it conditions is according to the value of p uh, according to the value of q it is true then true if it is false then false if it is true then true but when both are false then it is also true okay that is when both are true then it is a true and when both are false then also it is true then here if you want to uh, write in symbolical form that is a conditional or implication it means if 
x is odd integer then 4 divides x square minus 1 okay that is the statement is if x is an odd integer then then 4 divides this x square minus 1 means there exists if then condition means if x is an odd integer that is a statement p then second one is then 4 divides x square minus 1 then a q statement then p implies q that is a condition or implication then something next one is by conditional here p double implies q or double implication is true only when p and q are both true here this p double implies q this is true only when these both statements are true or both are false in all then remaining all other cases it is false it means, means if both are true then it is true if both are false then it is also true that is here if and only if that is here the statement in all the term if and only if then we use this by conditional or double implication then truth table tt that is we write this truth table that p double implies q if both are true then it is true both are false then it is true and all remaining cases it is a false statement the next one is that is a negation negation that is suppose p is a statement then symbolically we write the negation of this statement p as this one means we in we include this symbol before this p statement that is a negation of p the negation of if we take this and statement means p and q and if we take negation of this then we get this negation of p or negation of q okay that is we this statement negation of p and q is equivalent to this statement same thing negation of p or q is equivalent to negation of p and negation of q means when we take a negation this and change to or or this or change to and and this negation is negation of p statement negation of q statement that is the same thing that is a duality principle that is when we exchange this symbol that is and symbol is changed for or symbol or is changed for and this true is changed for false false is changed for true that is a duality principle then duality principle negation of p and q changes to negation of p or negation of q negation of p or q changes to negation of p and negation of q okay